Over the years, I've seen a lot of people prefer different colors of user interface here in Adobe Illustrator. Here's how you can change your user interface color. We're gonna go up to Illustrator, down to Settings, and inside of Settings, you're gonna to go to User Interface. Now, if you're on PC, this uh, dropdown is probably gonna be in your Edit dropdown to find Preferences or Settings. But once you get to the General Preferences of Illustrator, User Interface is on here on the left, and then you have Brightness, which is simply the mode. So do you want a dark mode or a light mode? If you wanna go back in time a little bit, this is what Illustrator used to look like. I prefer somewhere in between, so I'm not completely uh, sold on the completely dark mode, but I like the medium dark mode. Your canvas itself can match the brightness or you can make it white. That is the uh, canvas outside of your artboards. I like to match the brightness here. I don't want the whole screen to be white. The share button, well, you can adjust that, although, yeah, I think I will adjust that. I didn't even know you could. That's the share button right up here, which is usually blue. I don't ever use it, so I'm gonna match brightness on that. Now you have a couple other options here, like interface scaling. So you could scale up your interface to be larger or smaller. I keep it somewhere in the middle. You can also have large tabs open versus small tabs. You can see that adjustment happening up here with the tab. You can open documents as tabs, which is, I would say that's my preferred method. And then auto collapse iconic panels. Uh, this one, I don't even have on, so I wouldn't use if I were you for auto, I don't want anything to auto collapse, but this is sort of, uh, one of the other options. The last thing is that you can scale your cursor proportionally as well. So while you're working in Illustrator, your cursor can be scaled. Uh, you know, whatever the cursor is that you're using, whatever the tool is that you're using. Uh, sometimes if you change like UI scaling, you'll have to restart Illustrator to actually have those changes take effect. But the brightness side of it, uh, you can change pretty quickly. So that's all the user interface elements, and that's how you can change the user interface color here in Illustrator.